हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी के गौतम एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इंटरव्यू पॉइंट सो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ वेब एप यूजिंग डॉट नेट कोर सेवन पॉइंट ओ सो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल द क्रेड ऑपरेशन एंड आई ऑल्सो सो डू हाउ टू डू क्रेड ऑपरेशन यूजिंग पोस्ट मैन इन डॉट नेट कोर सेवन पॉइंट ओ इन दिस टूटोरियल वॉट आई विल डू आई विल क्रिएट अ एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन एंड आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सेस द ए पी आईज ओके बाई यूजिंग एंगुलर ओके इफ़ यू हैवेंट वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट फ्री रिक्वेज टू एंगुलर दैन प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियो लिंक इज अवेलेबल हियर लेट मी ओपन विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड सो यू कैन टाइप हियर वी एस सो यू विल गेट हियर सो लेट मी ओपन फ्रॉम हियर सो आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन फ्रॉम हियर सो क्लिक हियर and new window because i am going to open in a new instance so yeah so now here uh, i already have one folder uh, here you can see and uh, uh, in the e drive i am having one folder called interview point okay so inside this so in this folder i need to create our uh, angular application so first i what i need to do here click here or you can go from here open folder and from here you need to select your folder study and interview point inside this folder i need to create our application okay friends so uh, to create our application what i need to do, first go to uh, open your terminal here you can also create your angular application by using command prompt so i am using this uh, terminal so that is provided by that uh, vs code so what command i need to write here ng new and i need to provide the application name so in my case i am giving application name as student app just click enter button and now it is asking would you like to add angular routing if you want to uh, add then just click uh, enter y and then enter also it is asking uh, which style sheet format would you like to use so i am going to use this css so i just need to click on enter button and this will create your uh, angular application and also it will also add all the required packages okay so here our application is getting created and here you can see installing packages so all the required packages it will install okay so here we need to wait for some time so friends you can see here package is installed successfully so our application has been created so uh, i need to move to that location cd then the application name so now i want to uh, run this application so what i need to write here the command is ng serve okay and now by default it will run on local host port 4200 so now you can see a url just copy this url and open in any browser our student app is running so this all content is coming from here uh, i will show you this is our student application and this is the src folder this is the source folder so this folder contains each and everything so these are the uh, all the required files so that is added by that uh, angular so i'm i'm not going to talk about these files all the those so here we are having app.modules file app component.ts file so this is specs.ts file this is for testing purpose and this is the component uh, .html so whatever this file contains uh, we are seeing uh, each and everything from here okay so whatever we see here this is available here okay suppose if you want to see this one student app is running so this is coming from here and let me show you so you can see welcome here this is the welcome and you can see here some title so this is the title suppose if i will uh, control kc i'm just commenting this and if i want to remove this just save this and you can see the changes on the ui you can see the it is not coming here okay so let me undo changes and save it now you can see the changes i hope you have now basic idea how it is getting display data 
so in my previous video i have created all the api so i'm going to open this project okay student core api and those apis uh, get api i need to call and i will display the data using uh, angular application so okay guys uh, actually i need to display all the data here app.component.html file before that i need to add some services so what i will do uh, to add a service i will uh, uh, what i will do i will create one folder here inside this app folder and then i will create a service okay so friends now i need to create one service to create a service first need to move the location our location is a student app so cd student app inside this i need to create one service so what i will do inside app folder i will create one folder so ng g means generate s for service so i will create one folder services and inside the services folder i will create a service okay so services are very important to uh, get uh, call the apis okay so uh, uh, services will be the folder name and inside this i need to create uh, suppose student service or we can say student data okay like this we can create our services so this service i am going to create and it will take some time now our services has been created for us now you can see uh, student data service dot inspect dot cs and student data dot service dot ts so this uh, files is important for me student data service dot ts so i will write my code here okay so friends uh, in this app dot module dot ts file i need to import the module so that module is to work with the web api so what i can write here import and here the module some module from at the rate angular at the rate angular angular common and then http http this is the and it will come from the module name will be http client client module this one okay so this module i need to import so i have imported this module semicolon so actually this app routing module is not required for us so actually we are not using uh, in the student service i need to write my code because this service will call our uh, api so first uh, we need to create one property and we have to define uh, url okay so let me give the property name as url and here it will be our url okay so let me run the application web api application and let's see what will be our url try it out execute so let's see what will be the url for us actually here it is a breakpoint so just con click on the continue button and we will see our result here here we can see the data here okay so the url is this one copy this url and paste this url here in the constructor i need to write my code so write a private http colon and the type of this http will be suppose http client http client type and so and let me give the function name suppose get get student and inside this get student i need to call the api so get student and here i need to write my code return this dot actually here i need to write this dot http dot get and here i need to provide the url the property this local property so this is a local property so we need to write here this dot url okay like this so guys this get student function i need to call here app dot component dot ts file so here this is the export class app component and inside this i need to write my code 
and I need to define one property called students suppose this is the property and it will be any type okay uh, inside this I need to write one constructor so here private suppose student data student data service okay right here so this dot student data dot get student and dot subscribe and here uh, you can give any name so i am giving here data and okay so data such that here actually i need to open the package such that and here okay so console dot log and we can display our data okay just save this and i will get the data here what i can write here i need to remove this all code student angular app. save this and now what i can write here ng serve run this so guys uh, actually while calling that uh, api third party api you will get a course error okay so to enable the course uh, so friends uh, now i need to enable the course okay so to enable the course first open the visual studio guys it is recommended if you haven't watched my previous video on web api creation on dotnet course then please watch that video it is very uh, recommended actually without uh, watching that video you cannot understand how i have written the web apis okay so in the program.cs files i need to enable the course so first i need to uh, create a variable uh, where uh, and i will say a uh, name origin origins and here in the string type you can provide the same name uh, like underscore my origin and then here write builder builder dot services dot add course add course and inside this uh, you need to write uh, pose options you can give any name options such that the curly bracket here options dot add policy dot add policy and give provide the name and uh, my origins okay here i will say policy policy such that policy dot with the origins and here i need to provide the url so let me get the url and this url i need to provide here as a string semicolon and here again semicolon save this also i need to write here one more line app dot use course course and here i need to provide my origins parameter okay guys so my code is done so make sure guys you are providing the correct url and you are writing the proper code so now run this application go here and run here you can see there is nothing let me what i can write here inspect the element i'm getting error no provider for http client t head we have tr because in the inside tr we need to create a column so td so actually it will be a th because we are creating a heading okay th so we are having a multiple columns so uh, so let me copy it from the api so go to the student we can see how many columns we have so your id first name last name email and mobile id first name last name email and then mobile okay friends so save this in this t head uh, we need t after t head we need t body so table body and inside we need to create a tr and inside tr we need a td okay so this is very important friends so here actually we are having a multiple records so actually table header will be display at once but we are having a multiple records so multiple student we can have okay so we need to look through all the student so for that why uh, i need to write uh, ng4 so star ng4 
is equal to suppose let stu of of the properties name so what is the properties name what happened students uh, make sure this property name will match from here uh, where is the property we have defined this one the students okay so we will get all the data here okay friends so actually uh, before going to here we need to assign the data here right so to do this we can write uh, this dot students is equal to data so actually this line is not required for me so i have uh, deleted save this and go here back here in td uh, we need uh, multiple so what i can write here stu dot id okay so let me copy this control v control v and here first name last name here email and here mobile okay friends so id will be small let okay we will check the properties later so i hope it will work uh, let me delete this routing module dot ts file we are not using it so it is not required let me delete actually friends what i did i forget to man some this so i need to import this okay so this is the biggest mistake i did let me try to run this again and now we can see yeah it is working fine now and oh api is also now you can see the controller continue hopefully we will get the data now on the ui so finally we are able to press that records so actually i forget to import this uh, http client module so actually uh, it is happening with me multiple times so guys if you do so make sure that you are importing that uh, module so every module you need to import so suppose right now you are fetching the api so this is the uh, very important module to working with okay so make sure you are importing this module properly okay so guys like this we can um, fetch the data into the angular application so okay we'll see you in the next video till then take care if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment thank you and bye bye